Hey guys, it's going to see again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on the XR Interactions Toolkit provided by Unity. In this new video, I'm going to be bringing you a new component called the XR Grab Interactable that is going to allow us to interact with objects in virtual reality. I'm also going to be grabbing these objects and also throwing these objects with different forces that I apply to this component. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. So let me show you the demo that I have by running it on my Oculus Quest. So as you can see, I have two rays, one on the right controller and one on the left. I'm also using the XR Grab Interactable to grab the objects. In this case, it's a sphere. And I'm also trying to grab them in the air by, by you know, shuffling between the right controller and the left controller. Also, some of these items have a much stronger force when it comes to throwing them. So as you can see right now, I'm throwing these items. You know, Some of them are further away than the other one, and that's because I'm applying a bigger force when it comes to throwing them and I can also pick them up and yeah just having a lot of fun so let me just fast forward it a little bit so in this case I'm, I'm going to play I'm playing with physics so I'm holding the basically the trigger button on on the controller and then I'm placing the the polygon right right on top of this object and then I'm doing just playing around and having fun so I want to show you how this works and what you need to do to make that work so I'm just going to close out of everything here so what I have right now is a, a very simple scene. This is a scene from what I what I created last time on the previous video. So make sure that you watch that previous video before you watch this one because it's going to teach you how to set up an XR rig, how to set up an XR interaction manager. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the prefabs that we're going to need. So I'm going to need a polygon, and I'm also going to need this other polygon, which is you know which is this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be resizing them. I'm going to be putting them in top of in top of this box. So I think I'm good as far as like what items I'm going to be using for, you know, for grabbing. So what I'm going to do is the first thing that I want to do as well is I'm going to grab these vertices here. And in fact, let's just move it up. And I'm going to resize it. I think 0.25 was a good size. I think that's what I said on the demo. And we can just move it, move it back and just place it right on, on top of the box. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing with the, you know, with the sphere. I'm gonna do 0.2. Oh, let's go ahead and yeah, lower it a little bit more. And then we can just bring it in here, and I'll just snap it. There we go until we get it close to the top of the box. So something like that. So I'll just show you how to set them up as far as like if you want to grab it, what is it that is required. And the other things that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep this hierarchy organized. And let's go ahead and move it just a tiny bit more. And then we're just gonna focus. So. How do we interact with these objects? So I have an XR rig and I have a left hand controller and also a right hand controller. So now we need to tell the objects that are in the scene that they're gonna be grabbable objects. So to do that, we're gonna click on one of the components and then click on add component. And you're gonna search for XR grab interactable and we're basically gonna be assigning that. So Unity is providing us with a lot of different options in here. The ones that I've been playing with are all the throw, throwing options and also the attach is in time. So you can take, you can basically change the time that it takes to, to attach an object to the controller by just changing this property. I'm going to leave it as default, but you can get, you guys can play around with that. I can also tell it, you know, what, what actual, actual interaction layer mask we're going to be interacting with. In this case, I'm going to set it to everything, but if you only wanted the controller to interact with the specific layers, then you can change the layer masking here. I can also tell the system if I want to track the position, if I want to apply a smooth position, if I want to track the rotation, and also if I want to apply a smooth rotation. So if you change if you change the checkbox here to a smooth position, you have different amounts that you can that you can set. The same thing with the smooth rotation. If you want to change you know the amount that is applying that is applied on the rotation when it's smooth, you can do that in here and also the tie in rotation. So the ones that I change for the, you know, if you want to throw these and let's say you want to reach it, you want to reach that other island right above there. And you want to look at the, you know, some of these properties in here. In my case, the one that I tried was the draw velocity scale. So in this case, I set it to 1.5. I'm going to leave that one as default, but we're going to be changing them to, you know, on the other, on the other object. So in this case, I'm going to leave this, you know, as it is. And then we're going to go into the other object and this one, we're going to attach it as well. And in this case, I'm going to increment this one to about five. And then I'm just going to clone this object as well. And this one I'm going to make maybe about 10. 
and I'll just clone it one more time, clone it one more time, and then I'm just gonna resize it. So because I'm gonna be putting this in GitHub, I'm gonna let you guys try it in GitHub, and you know, let me know, let me know if you find any issues with you know with some of these properties. Everything works as far as like what I tested. So be you know make sure you check out the code that I'm gonna be putting in in GitHub. So this is honestly everything that needs to be done, and then you know once you get once you get the XR grab interactables attached and also the XR rig with the left and hand controller, all you really need to do is just build the scene. So it's gonna go into build settings and I have this thing called XR rig grabbing. We're gonna make sure that that one is checked. Also make sure that your Oculus Quest is connected. Then click on build and I'm just gonna hit save. And then that basically is gonna build it to the device. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.